I'm Billy Oliva, executive chef for the Delmonico's Restaurant Group. Today we're going to make broiled ribeye steaks with fresh herb butter, or as we like to call it, the Delmonico steak, which was invented here back in the 1800s. The Delmonico steak, fresh herb butter, let's get started. So here are all our ingredients, what we're going to be cooking today. Here's our ribeye or our Delmonico steak. It's my favorite cut of steak. Nice marble, beautiful marble. This one here, what we sell at Delmonico's, is about 22 ounces. It's gonna just melt when we cook it. Gonna have a great, tender, flavorful steak. And then with the addition of the herb butter, just gonna be out of this world. Here's our ingredients. Very simple again. Um, we have some fresh, unsalted butter um, that we've cut into cubes. And this is just to, to show you, we've whipped it in our, in our um, Roboku just to soften it up, smooth it out. Um, same ingredient, just different stages. We have a whole bunch of herbs here. We have chives, Italian flat leaf parsley, some thyme, some rosemary. You can use whatever herbs you like. We have a little bit of fresh lemon that we're gonna give a squirt into the butter just for a little bit of acid. Some shallots here that have been diced up for us. Just a little sea salt, fresh cracked pepper, and later our crispy onions that are gonna garnish our Delmonico steak. So we're gonna start our herb butter. Very simple, just gonna mix all these ingredients. Here we have our whipped butter. Gonna add some of this here to our bowl. I'm gonna use a little chives, a little Italian parsley, just a touch of rosemary. Rosemary is a strong herb, I wouldn't use too much. Just a little bit of thyme. We have our shallots, put some of those in. Gonna season this with a little fresh ground pepper, a little sea salt, a squirt of lemon juice for a little bit of acid. Butter is nice and soft, so it's easy to mix. Really gonna give the great accompaniment to the steak. And we'll take a look at it. And if we think it needs more herbs, we can always adjust it. A Little more chives, a little more parsley. Good ratio of herbs to butter. Get a nice stand out on the flavor. In the restaurant, we make a lot of it. We roll it out with uh, wax paper, wrap it in plastic, and we freeze it. At home, you don't have a freezer like that. So very easily, a little plastic container, put it in, put it in the freezer, take it out when you need it, let it soften up, and you're ready to go. So our herb butter is done. Now we have our beautiful Delmonico steak or ribeye steak. We're gonna get this ready to go on our broiler. Our broiler is preheating. You're always uh, very important, broiler has to be hot. So we're gonna season our steak. First thing we're gonna do, a little, a little oil. Gonna just kind of rub that on both sides of the steak. Very important when you're, you're cooking underneath the broiler, add a little bit of that extra fat. Helps give it a nice color, it won't stick to the grill. As you can see, I'm using plenty of salt. We always season both sides. I know it looks like a lot when it goes to the grill, to the broiler. A lot of the salt is gonna fall off as through, through the cooking process. So we have our Delmonico steak or our ribeye steak. Um, gonna put it on this broiler. This is the broiler we use here in Delmonico's. Hear it as soon as it goes on, you can hear it sizzle. And what we wanna do, wanna get a nice caramelization on both sides. Okay, so our Delmonico steak or our ribeye steak is broiling. And one important tip, um, not a lot of people do this, it's very important. If you can, you always wanna take your meat out of the refrigerator, kinda of let it come to room temperature. Um, before you put it underneath the broiler, or before you put it on the barbecue, whatever you're doing, Never want to take it out of the fridge, cold, put it to a hot grill. Just think about that, what that sounds like, something very cold, go into a hot grill, it, 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 it gets tight, it gets tough, it doesn't cook properly, so good thing to remember, always try and let your meat come to room temperature before you actually place it in the heat. We're gonna pull it off, as you can see, great color on both sides, beautiful caramelization, you know, that, that nice beautiful color just a, an incredible flavor nice crust when you cut into it so our steak has been resting for a few minutes which is another crucial thing always want your steak your meat to rest a few minutes let those juices and the, the meat relax so we're going to put it on a quick sizzle plate here and here we have some herb butter that's been sliced for us and we're just going to take a nice big chunk of that herb butter top it back we're almost ready to serve the herb butter on the steak we just want to melt it slightly back underneath the broiler, and then we're gonna plate it. So we've taken our steak out of the oven. Butter has melted slightly. This steak doesn't need anything more than just a little bit of crispy onions, and just gonna put a little pinch of 
sea salt. And there you have it. Broiled ribeye steak, fresh air butter, or like we like to say here in Delmonico's, broiled Delmonico steak. And that's how you broil a ribeye steak with fresh air butter. I'm Executive Chef Billy Oliva for the Delmonico's Restaurant Group. For more information, more recipes, you can check us out at delmonicosrestaurantgroup.com. Now let's eat.